Saiyan Army, welcome to the video. So in today's video, we're gonna be going through five tips to help you get shredded in the new year to stay away from that dad bod. This would work for any of you who, whether you're a dad or not, it doesn't matter. However, after my last video, I did not realize that there's so many of you guys expecting. So I will try to give as much tips and everything as we go through our day. So today's gonna to be more of a chill vlog. Right now, Akame and Sandra are sleeping. I need to try and get as much done as possible before she wakes up. So let's get our day started. First thing I do when I wake up every morning is I wash and sanitize the bottles. Now you don't need a bottle sanitizer. A lot of people will say that's OD. However, we got gift one so we're using it. My goal whenever I wake up is just try to get as much done around the house before Sandra wakes up just because I'm very fortunate where she is like breastfeeding and she still has to wake up and pump and feed the baby so I get to sleep straight through that. My rest has been pretty damn good. I got the baby camera over here you can see baby Akame sleeping. Oh she's moving a little bit. I just watch her just in case she does wake up. Um, I don't want her to wake up Sandra so I can just grab her before she gets fussy. Good morning, baby. Good morning. All right, let's go get some food. I know, I know, you hungry. Right. So, Kame always wakes up after a long nap and chooses violence. Today was a really good day. She slept five hours, woke up, bed five hours, went back to sleep, and I think this past one was two hours before waking up again. So, it was a really good day. Good job, my baby. So this is just a tip for you new dads. Everyone's gonna have an opinion on how to raise their baby. Just keep in mind that every baby is different. I would read the studies, especially on stuff like SIDS and stuff. But really, you're gonna learn as you go. Take everything with a grain of salt. Arm yourself, read, read it, buy books. Take classes if you need to. We didn't um, take any classes. Just try to arm yourself with as much knowledge as possible. Take everything with a grain of salt and just try things and see what works. All fed and happy? What does a pirate say, Akave? <laughs> so on top of tummy time, this is Akame's second favorite thing to do when she's fussy. She likes to just stand on my lap and I talk to her and she bounces around and yeah, she just loves it. Yeah, my baby? Yeah, you strong-legged baby. You will set the squat record. You gonna dance, Akame? You gonna dance? She wants to dance. I want to dance. So here's breakfast. We got five egg cups, some turkey bacon. We got some white rice with shoyu or soy sauce on top. I don't know if this is a Hawaii thing, but if you guys haven't tried rice with soy sauce on top, it is delicious. And also let's talk about tip number one, and that is just getting in your daily steps. A lot of you guys with newborns are gonna be home a lot during the first like a month or two, and you guys might not go out as much as you usually do. Your steps and your activities gonna be a lot lower. So something I do is I hit 10,000 steps every single day. The first way I do it is going on walks. So I always try to go on a walk, as long as it's not raining, every single day with her, just to get let Akame get some fresh air as well. And it's something that I look forward to every day too. So it definitely helps mentally as well, just being enclosed in this house, just going out and getting some fresh air. Second thing I do is if she's super fussy and I need to do stuff, um, I just throw her in the carrier and pace around the house. That increases my steps greatly. Also those standing desk treadmills, that helps a lot, especially when I need to do some work, I'll throw her in the carry and walk on that treadmill. I'll just walk slowly and I'll just walk at a snail's pace, a pace that I can do pretty much all day. Each step you take adds up and it burns calories throughout the day so you can get leaner and maintain your progress without getting fat. All right, so going on our daily walk, Kami is being a little fussy, so she loves the outdoors. She's usually up for like five, 10 minutes and then she's out again. <laughs> it's just great to get some fresh air. Highly, highly, highly recommend it for those of you guys that can where your weather is decent enough to get outside. But yeah, this is what I look forward to like every day. Back from our walk and Akame sleeping and about to hit a workout, which leads me to the next point, And that is getting your workout in. Ideally, you would like someone that can watch 
your baby for you know an hour or two while you go to the gym but not everyone has that luxury especially someone that's going to come over four or five days a week my first suggestion this is for people who don't have equipment at all when your baby's sleeping just hit your workouts then do a hundred push-ups a hundred sit-ups a hundred burpees a little goes a long way and it's going to be better than nothing just do what you can get some resistance bands and do that kind of stuff if i didn't have any equipment but was looking to buy i would buy some light adjustable dumbbells that go to 20 30 pounds or maybe the bowflex ones depends on what your budget is get some iron masters or even like some super cheap walmart dumbbells that go 20 30 pounds and use those do supersets get a bench if you can't fit a bench get like an inflatable ball get one of those big yoga balls you can bench off that you can do stand-up rows you can do almost anything and superset it all and just get some work in so yeah right now I just getting my pre-workout ready got the new gorilla mind respawn which i'm really liking i'm just gonna take a scoop of that still watching my caffeine intake got some beta alanine and then we're gonna throw five grams creatine monohydrate and that's that and also for those of you guys who may have bigger budgets, then I would recommend getting some Bells of Steel equipment. This cable machine, I can do so much. I can do like 90% of my workouts with just this cable machine back there. And they even have single stand cables that don't take up a lot of space. Bottom line is just get your workouts in and do something. Like I understand that a lot of you guys are gonna be tired during this period and it's gonna be hard and you guys aren't gonna want to work out, but just get it in for your baby's sake. We all wanna live long, healthy lives and watch our children flourish and have kids and we can be grandparents and be great grandparents and all that good stuff <laughs> could have just flew in but yeah prioritize it don't push it off to later health is wealth and just do it for your kids future So I just got out of the shower and Akame is still sleeping which leads me to my next point and that is sleep. Now sleep is super important for fat loss and just overall quality of life so I'm gonna recommend get at least six to eight hours of sleep if you can or just get as much sleep as you can having a newborn. Some people don't have the luxury of having a significant other that takes over at night or I'm really blessed that Sandra does that and I can sleep pretty much straight through the night even though I do wake up multiple times throughout the night to check on Akane because you know I'm a paranoid first time parent and also just to use the bathroom and help out when I can you know make the bottle feeder that kind of thing and something that's been helping a lot to improve my quality of sleep is this sleep mask and it has little speakers on the sides so it plays music one of the biggest surprises is when people say oh yeah I'm gonna sleep like a baby baby sleep loud AF if you didn't know you had a baby in your room you would think your room was haunted there was aliens in there they make so much noise while they sleep <laughs> 
like anything you could imagine all types of weird noises that'll keep you up keep you on edge keep you checking on her every like minute it just gets a little ridiculous you do get kind of used to it however for me personally i can't sleep with all that noise going on so this really helps so basically i just put on some lo-fi piano music i noticed i sleep really well with piano for whatever reason i don't make it loud enough where i can't hear outside what's going on so if akami were to start crying loud enough i would immediately wake up as always safety first like if you're a really heavy sleeper then i probably wouldn't recommend it but i'm a pretty light sleeper so i'll take this with a grain of salt and just get some sleep And the next tip is gonna be diet. So in a perfect world, you're gonna want one day where you call over your mom, dad to watch the baby for a couple hours while you meal prep all your meals for the week. And then that's that, you can get lean. However, majority of you guys probably aren't gonna do that. Um, we don't do that because old food sucks. You know, after the food is over two, three days old, it's not quite as good, chicken dries up. So what we do, and yes, we do have leftovers like the egg cup, Sandra likes to make it in bulk so I can have it for breakfast for the next couple of days and stuff like that. Um, however, we don't prep for like the entire week or more than two to three days out. So we do that and a combination of convenience foods as well. We do lots of like frozen chicken, things that can be air fried, can be microwaved, like the wontons that we like to eat, the Costco ramen that you guys have seen in other videos. Comment down below if you guys want more full day of eatings because we got a lot of good stuff. This Kahlua pig we're eating tonight, you just throw it on the pan, it's done. The chicken patties, we just threw it in the air fryer. And convenience is gonna be king. Like no, this isn't gonna be healthy to eat all this processed foods for a long period of time. However, we're just doing it now because the newborn is very time consuming for us. So it's like pick your poison. You can have a little bit of convenience or you can get fat or you can get both. By eating eating out all the damn time for dinner right here Sandra made and these chicken patties are flipping delicious I'll have her put the picture on the screen with some low-fat pepper jack cheese some arugula some tomatoes and right here we got some nachos we got some Kahlua pig on top cilantro from my garden because I got a green thumb now jalapeno sour cream and yeah again low-fat cheese so both these things are very macro friendly took her like 10 15 minutes to put together i mean majority of it was just waiting for it in the air fryer and on the pan this is how we're gonna stay lean we're gonna enjoy this watch something and hopefully akame stays asleep so akame is now in bed and sandra and i are gonna have some quality time i just want to end the video with this final and last tip pretty much just ignore the negativity ignore the haters one of the most common things sandra and i have been told ever since you know we told everyone that we're having a newborn is get your rest now or get your sleep now enjoy your freedom now and yes while that is all true to some extent understand that everyone's journey everyone's baby everyone's life is different don't focus on all that for sandra and i we're getting enough sleep we're really lucky that akame she's not the best but she's pretty good one of the best tips that i've been told is about how fast they grow they grow up fast and it's so damn true so every single minute we spend with her every single day we spend with her i'm just trying to enjoy it as much as possible from hearing her gurgling sounds you know my mom said that was her favorite time when she raised my brother and i was where akame is right now when she's starting to like make gurgling gurgling noises and almost communicate with you so i'm just enjoying that and just looking at back at pictures from when she was a newborn watching our week with a newborn video like it just takes me back so just keep your eyes on the positive don't listen to all the haters yes i know most of them are joking but you know there's a truth to every joke anyways I'll catch you guys in the next video for online coaching. Email me, gokeflexagema.com. We'll help you get that dad bod off for programsinarmy.com. Much love, Shantanar. Aloha.